everyone. In this video, I'm going to show you how to locate the databases here at our library. From the many tabs at the top, click on the third one that says Articles and Databases. This allows you to access all of our databases here at SIMS Library. You can access them in different ways. If there is a specific subject area that you want to find information in, such as medicine or art, then you could look at databases by subject. If you have a database that has been suggested to you by your professor or a librarian, you can also look it up by name. We have all of our databases in alphabetical order here. For our class, we are going to use some databases from the favorite databases list. These five databases are interdisciplinary, which is a fancy way of saying they have a little bit of a lot of different subject areas. So if you're not sure which subject area or which specific database to search, these are good places to start. The database we are using today is the fourth on the list, Research Library ProQuest. When I click the link, I went to the database right away. That's because I'm accessing this on campus. If you try to access this database or any of our databases from home, then you will need to log in with your W number and your six-digit birth date. To search the database, put your topic into the search bar. I've already put mine in, which is online learning. Yours will be whichever you selected from the assignment. Then click the search button. One thing you'll notice right away is that my results here is much higher than in the library catalog, a little bit over 34,000 results total. That's because this database and most of our databases search for individual articles. Articles are published inside of other sources called periodicals. Periodical is the fancy term for scholarly journal, magazine, newspaper, or trade journal. That means that these databases tend to have a lot more results because they're searching a lot more items. Just like in the library catalog, on the left there's various filters we can use in order to specify what type of source we want. The first one I'm going to check off is the checkbox for full text. This means that any of the articles on my results list are ones that I can actually read the full article um, online. Under source type, I'm going to select scholarly journals because that is the type of article I want for this assignment. But you could also specify other source types such as newspapers, magazines, and so forth. Notice that each time you apply a filter, it reloads the page and you see a new number of results. So my results from adding full text and scholarly journals have dropped from over 30,000 to just a little over 10,000. The last filter I'm going to apply, you have to scroll down to where it says language, and I am going to select English. So now all of my results are in the English language, published in scholarly journals, and have the full text available. When you look at the results, you actually can get a lot of the citation information from the result here, but it's not labeled, so if you're not used to identifying it, it can be a little tricky. In order to see the full information of the source, instead of selecting the link, we are going to click in the bottom left where it says Abstract Details. This Abstract Details view gives you the full information that's labeled. The very first thing at the top is your abstract, which is our little summary of what this source is about. And then under details, you'll notice that there are different subsections that are labeled that give us the citation information. One thing that's tricky for students is that 
Articles require both the article title and the periodical title when you're doing a citation. The way these are labeled in each database is a little bit different. In this database, the title is your article title. The publication title is your periodical title. So this is the title of my scholarly journal, Distance Learning. You don't have to include this part after it. That's the place of publication. I honestly don't know why they put that there. All of my authors are listed in the place labeled author. And then there's lots of other pieces of information that we're given. Publication date is going to tell me when this article was published. And source type down here is going to tell me what kind of periodical this is from. So it tells me that this is from a scholarly journal. There are also a lot of tools here in the upper left, upper right, excuse me, that we'll look at in future assignments. But for now, this should be enough to get you everything that you need for the basic searching assignment.